hey y'all welcome back to another video it's me the wood and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i transform my beauty room from that to this so if you're interested keep on watching before we jump into it definitely make sure that you're subscribed and give the video a big thumbs up all right let's get it so the first thing i did when i knew i was gonna transform this room is try to find a good paint color like that was literally the first thing i did <laughs> So here you see me just trying to clean out the room. This room kind of just became like a storage room. Um, and so much random stuff was just in here. Stuff that I've literally never even seen in my life. So before we got into the actual transformation, I had to get all of this nonsense out of the room. You guys will see a little later in the video, but I ended up taking the feet off of that TV and mounting the TV where you see that little fireplace. This space was basically a massive DIY project for both me and my mom, and we painted the room ourselves. It's not the best, but it looks good to me. I mean, look where we started from to what we finished with. Shout out to my mom for always being my number one supporter and my biggest fan. Y'all, she was up on that ladder painting like she was 25 years old. <laughs> so because we were trying to cover up that red paint, I had to choose a paint that had a primer in it and we did two coats of that on top of the red. The paint color is called Silver Charm by the brand PPG Glidden. So after we painted the room, my next step was to find some furniture. So of course, I had to head down to Ikea. I actually really love Ikea. Sometimes I just go with my mom and we just be looking around, girl. Like, we don't even buy nothing. So from Ikea, I ended up picking up two drawer units and a dressing table. Here you can see me putting up one of the drawer units. This is what I plan to be my main form of storage. So like makeup, hair, and nails, all that stuff's gonna go in these drawers. So if you are a DIYer and you like to do stuff by yourself because you are independent, <laughs> I would recommend wearing rubber gloves because it really helped me keep a good grip so that I can really lift stuff and not drop it. <laughs> so here you see me putting together the dressing table, AKA the desk that I'm gonna sit at to do my makeup. Now this was hard, I ain't even gonna lie. So about a week after building everything, painting and cleaning, this is what the room looks like. What a major 360. I honestly did not know that this room had this much potential. All right, so that is the transformation part of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into this tour. Alrighty, so this is the long awaited <laughs> office slash beauty room tour. This is my little space where I be doing what I be doing. So it's a really small space. I'm gonna give you guys a brief tour. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I guess we'll start down below. Obviously, I have like a light gray. Um, these aren't like, it's not real hardwood. I don't know the material but it's really sturdy and it gives that like hardwood look it used to be carpet in here um, but we took the carpet up um, and put this down we also changed the paint color it used to be this really really obnoxious red I mean like a burgundy hot obnoxious red color and that just wasn't gonna work for me so I painted well me and my mother <laughs> We um, painted the walls this really neutral, light gray color. The room isn't done all the way, but I figured I should just go ahead and give this video to you guys because if not now, then when, right? This room actually used to be a bedroom. It had like a whole king size bed in here and everything. So I knew I had the space to do what I needed to do in here. I just needed to kind of find a way to execute it. Okay, so this desk is from Ikea. I'm not sure the actual name but it's actually meant to be mounted on the wall. But I didn't like that idea for this space. The back of the desk had like this wood brown color, so I painted it white, the same color as all the furniture. I'm gonna list everything down below, so if you guys are interested in purchasing, you know exactly where to go and what to get. I put these little Velcro stickies on here just so that the glass wouldn't move. I'm a real like anxious person, and I would hate for this to fall, so just to prevent that, I put the little sticky, it's not stickers, it's a Velcro. Girl, I'm losing my words. <laughs> this chair is just a little simple stool from Bed Bath & Beyond. Originally, I was using like this really hard stool and it was starting to hurt. So my mom actually got this for me. <laughs> so shout out to her. My little gold trash can is from Target. 
it was super affordable and I thought it just matched because as you see I have the gold here and there so I thought it would just make sense to get a gold trash can also I put everything in here together by myself and this whole room took about maybe like a week and some change for me to do like from head to toe so I don't keep anything too crazy in this drawer. I keep like my essentials. So I have some skincare here, some um, face lotion all the way in the back, some boob tape, uh, little odd things, some edge control, contacting, spoolies, lashes. Um, this normally has like face masks in there, but girl, all I got is iPads now. <laughs> I keep all my little trinkets like tweezers, scissors, and lash glue there. You see, it's just, this is like my little essentials, uh, drawer. Also, this is my baby picture. This desk has a glass top, like I was mentioning before, so I just slid the picture underneath the glass. So I guess we'll move on to this area next. So in this corner, there's nothing too spectacular. There's just a mirror, just in case I'm getting ready and I need to kind of see what I'm looking like, you know, full body type thing. I keep my reflector and this little box, I just keep random stuff there. Like there was a whole box of just like makeup trash in there, like boxes and plastic wrap and stuff. And I just took it out for the video. <laughs> I think I may have paid 45 bucks for this mirror. No more than $50, I know that. <laughs> and I got that from Walmart. So this dresser area is actually two small dressers put together. Honestly, it was just a little cheaper to do it this way. These are also from Ikea if you're interested. I'm not sure of the specific name, so definitely check the description box if you're curious. On top, I don't keep anything special, just makeup brushes and that little bin back there. When I'm filming, I throw all the makeup that I plan to use in there so that I don't have to keep reaching into my drawers. So there are six drawers in total. The top one holds all of my makeup and it's low-key starting to overflow so I might have to clear out something else um, this is all my nail stuff I wear press on nails so this is all the stuff that I use to do my nails girl it's a mess the bottom drawer on this side is pretty miscellaneous just like some boxes and whatnot so if we move on to the other side this is the drawer that has all my hair stuff in it a mess clearly <laughs> The only drawer I really care about is my makeup drawer, to be real. This drawer here is also pretty random. As you can tell, she's unorganized. <laughs> and the last drawer here just holds all my techie stuff. I like to keep all my cords and stuff in one area because I don't want to lose anything. These photos are from at home. And all I did was add the gold pieces. I just took some gold uh, foil. What is it called? gold y'all know what i'm talking about the gold foil pieces and i just put those in certain places and took some gold paint and just kind of added in some gold accents to just tie in because i wanted this room to be black white and gold so yeah little diy moment right there my little christmas tree i just put some little jewelry boxes just to kind of make it look cute <laughs> so let's talk about this lamp I feel like either you love it or you hate it. I love it. I got this from at home also. And I just have this little Chanel bag slash box for decor. Let's move on to this little section here. So up here, I keep a lot of stuff that I use to bleach my hair and just like little random things. This whole shelf is just random stuff. Some cleaning supplies there, uh, things to sanitize my makeup, jewelry, some tripods in this corner here and more makeup trash <laughs> this is also from ikea well, this shelf i've actually had for some years maybe since i was in high school i want to say um this used to be in my room and when i was transforming this room to my beauty space i decided to just bring this on in from my room my little curtain situation is not the best yet i just needed something to block out the light it's daytime right now and you can see like not much light is really peeking through that's really all i needed because sometimes uh oh sometimes i do like to film in the daytime i didn't really have that luxury when i was filming in my room now i can film any time of day and my lighting won't be thrown off so let's talk about this little chair she's really not meant to be there but Sometimes I invite people in and they have nowhere to sit. So I was just like, I'm gonna just put this here for the time being. I think I wanna do like a bench, but until I get that bench and find the one that speaks to me, 
this little chair is gonna be there for now. <laughs> so this is pretty much where all the real magic happens. This is the desk where I edit my videos. These little storage areas are still pretty bare. Um, my planner is in the second cubby hole along with some um, like tax papers and stuff like that. Typical desk stuff, nothing too fancy. So personally, I like to keep my desk space pretty clear because I won't be able to focus if I have too much up here. So most times I just keep my little phone holder and my Blue Yeti mic. This little desk is actually from Big Lots. I caught it on sale. I wanna say it was like 75 bucks and it matches the Ikea furniture so well. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find this online, but if I can, I'll link it down below. And if I can't, I will post something similar. But yeah, that's my little desk. So moving on to the final corner of the room, I guess you can consider this a corner. Girl, look at all those cords. I need some cord management because that looks a hot mess. So I do have my TV mounted back there, but I honestly don't use it. I need to work on using it more because it's literally just wasted space at this point. So I turned the light off so that I could show you guys my lighting setup so far. So for right now, I'm using the Young Yo 300 light. I'm not sure if that's the way to pronounce it. But like I said, I'm gonna list everything down below for your convenience. <laughs> I also like to film with these two soft boxes here. And typically I just put one on that side of the desk and one on this side of the desk. And the Young Yo goes right on top of my camera that sits here. So that's pretty much my little office. Shout out to my family for helping me with this room, mounting the TV and helping bring up boxes and whatnot. Cause child, I ain't that strong. I'm independent, but I ain't that independent. In the future, I would love to put a neon sign here, but until we get to that point, this wall is pretty bare for now. So that is my beauty room slash office. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.